up? Welcome everybody to another episode of Tasty Thursdays, where basically every other Thursday, you and I are gonna share some fun, share some fun, cook up some good food, have some laughs, basically welcome to the shenanigans. Of course, I could not pull this off without my partner in crime, the bartender of all bartenders, the godfather himself, the M to the G, the one and only Mikey J. <laughs> What up, everybody? Woo, woo. Welcome to the party. It's Tasty Thursday. I'm, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry, so I am hungry. I'm thirsty. I am hungry and Thursday. Today, every week, you guys know we try to go with like a theme. Last Tasty Thursday was sort of a Cinco de Mayo fiesta theme. And this week, it is going to be a Mother's Day theme, which is very exciting. Uh, Mother's Day is right around the corner. It's just in a few days. Um, and I wanted to, you know... I wanted to make some things that I feel like you could make for your mom, uh, but really just celebrate myself, celebrate all the moms. And I, when I was thinking about the menu for tonight, Mike and I were going back and forth and Joe and I were discussing and they were like, well, what about brunch? Like, what about like a little Christini? And then I thought to myself, like, I am me. I want meatballs. I want pasta. I want cheese. I want bread. So we're making sort of a riff of my rigatoni with sun-dried tomatoes and burrata, except I didn't get sun-dried tomatoes because I couldn't find any in my grocery store. Hashtag came my grocery store, but instead I'm using my homemade jarred, delicious cherry tomatoes, and I'm, but the recipe is gonna be pretty much the same with the exception of that. Um, and then we're making some spinach chicken meatballs and like a delicious Parmesan cream sauce. And I'm gonna do the same reels that I, sh the same thing I shared in a reels last week, which was those roasted olives and the Borson cheese. I'm gonna do that as well because you guys loved it. So, Mikey G on the drinks, he can explain right. to you what we got. That's right, everybody, check it out. So, check it before you wreck it. I'm doing this for all the mothers today, right? So, we got ourselves a key lime pie mixed drink over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my beautiful, I don't know if you can get this Jojo, my, my beautiful man over there behind the camera. I'm going to start off with the, we got uh, you, we got you. I'm moving it in, I'm going to move it into focus here. Mm. Got my um, graham crackers, which who knows, who knew you could put graham crackers in a drink? We got some limes. Then I'm going to pop over here. Let's get this camera. I don't know if you can do wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. You want to go over there? Oh yeah, we're going. Oh, Joe, your, 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 your technology skills are amazing. What can I say? Uh, you can get back on, you can pan back on me if you want. Well, so we got the beautiful key lime, key lime juice. The stuff I used last week actually to make my beautiful uh, margarit margaritas. Um, I got rum chata, hashtag vining, right? We got the rum chata. Oh my goodness, I don't know if she's watching and if she even would remember that. Rum chata, yep, yep. Rum chata, inside joke there. It's cool, it's cool. And then we got this beautiful pineapple nectar that Laura said to use because she found it in the store and said it's amazing. It's amazing. I'm it, excited. It takes, when you are using like pineapple juice or mango juice or whatever in a cocktail, use a nectar instead. It's much more concentrated in flavor and it will take whatever you're making to the next level. Just yeah, I mean, I, you gotta always start with the pineapple upside down, right? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm shaking it up, right? Right, starting it upside down, shaking it up, getting that baby mixed up. Then we got some beautiful rum here. I'm gonna use some Superior Bacardi rum, uh, one of my faves uh, to use in a mixed drink because it mixes well. Um, you use the um, mixer, mixing drinks are usually like the more, or the lower version of the drink. You know, you want to make sure you're using that, not the, the sip on the better, the better versions, right? And finally, I'm gonna top it off with a beautiful, extra heavy, extra creamy whipped cream and some graham crackers. So it's just gonna be. It's gonna be awesome, we're gonna love it. I'm excited. Laura, I hope you enjoy it. I'm, I'm, I'm very so excited. excited because key lime pie is like one of my favorite desserts and I love anything tangy and lemony and so that is right up my alley. Trying to figure out where we start. I think we'll start- Oh wait, I gotta stop you right there so we can have the best show possible. You're gonna look at your screen and we need to move that hydro flask. First of oh, all, there we go. Yep. I, the fact that oh, you think this is name jar. brand. Well, I don't okay? know what it is. That, also, that cup. Nine dollars, okay? The day I spent forty some dollars on a cup is the day I don't know, but absolutely not. Well, Laura, I didn't know that even was a I didn't even know that was a name brand. I just thought that's what people call them. Oh, and there's also that little jar there. I'm getting a couple requests from the audience right to there. make it strong because mommy needs it strong, so I don't know. Oh don't oh no. Oh no. Mama does not need it strong. Um, before we roll into it, let's do a little slide of a few pictures, not all of them, babe, just a few, right, uh, of my mom over here. and Mia when she was little, and then there's, I think, oh, pictures. Oh, that's the wrong image. Here we go. Um, right. wait. Oh, no. I don't have the slideshow built in here. Give me a minute. I'll get it okay. for you in just a moment. Well, give him a minute, because I sent him the photos to, like, add to the, to the thing, you know, to do the thing and whatever. But while that happens, let's make the meatballs. I've got my oven preheating to 425. 
I've got my ground chicken. If you know me in person, like if you know me, I know Squirtle's watching and she knows me, and she is the same way as I am. I don't like ground chicken. I do not really like ground turkey unless I am the one that makes it. You will never catch me ordering a turkey burger or a chicken burger or any of that jazz at and about because I think it just tastes like dead meat. These meatballs are the most delicious chicken meatballs you will ever make in your entire life. They are so flavorful. They're so juicy because we are obviously going to add some egg and binder, but we're also going to add some frozen chopped spinach that I have thawed, defrosted, you know, thawed, and then squeeze all of the excess liquid out of. Um, and it keeps the meatballs so tender and so delicious, you cannot even imagine. To this, Oh, sorry. That was a, oh, that was a, oh. that was a mistake there. My bad. I oh, do have your okay. slideshow ready whenever you are. It's a good time. Okay, <laughs> let's do the slideshow really quickly because I want to share with you a few photos of Mia with my mom and when I was, you know, when she was born and the audience celebrate. can see them now. You can't, but they can. Okay. I don't know what you're seeing. We have a photo of Aunt Sexy and Nana. We have so, your mom Aunt with Mia. Aunt Sexy and Nana, two of the most influential women in my life. My Aunt Sexy, as we call her, because she's fabulous. She is my godmother, and she is one of the women in my life that has um, inspired me greatly and that I love immensely, and she's very much like a mother to me, so I wanted to share a photo of her. Oh, they're, course, they're all scrolling through right now. All the photos are scrolling Okay, through. and of course there's Nana because, I mean, Mother's Day to me, without mentioning Nana, is like unheard of, right? I grew up with my Nana primarily when I was a child, with my parents, because my parents were young. My mom was, you know, 18 when she had me, and my dad was really young, and then my parents divorced, and I spent most of my childhood with my grandparents, and because I just loved it. I loved being with my nana, I loved being with my nana, I loved that my aunts and uncles all lived with my nana, so I was like the center of everybody's world, and it was also the first grandbaby and the first granddaughter. And there's only one girl in the family, my Aunt Sexy. The rest are all boys. So I was always, like, celebrated a lot. And it was just, you know, it's a happy well, place Well, first of all, you did say something there that your dad was really young. I just want to point out that Papa Sal is forever young. He's, for, he's forever, forever young. young. He, he's the OG the man, man. The man doesn't age. He does he not age. He is forever young. We love Papa Sal. Long live Papa Sal. Um, <laughs> then when my dad moved here, I, again, spent most of my life with my grandparents until I ended up moving here. So, in a nutshell, I love being with my nana. She pretty much raised me, along with my mom, of course. I did live with my mom as well. Um, it was pretty much 50-50, with the exception of the summer. The summer, I really did spend most of my time with my grandparents because my cousins lived there. It was just, it was close to the beach. My nana took us to the beach all the time. It was the place to be, you know, the place to be. Are they still rolling? The oh, no, I, I, I've been coming in and out with the slideshow. I hope everybody oh. enjoyed that. Grandsire Papa Sal wasn't in any of them, but you know what? It's Mother's Day. Okay. It's not Papa Sal Day. It's not, it's, not. it's not Father's Day. It's Mother's Day. So we are celebrating <laughs> the women in my life that have played a huge part in me growing up and being who I am, I guess. We're doing it for the Whether moms. or not that's a good thing, that's up to you. Doing it for the moms. Doing it for the moms. Um, one more thing I had to say. I'm not quite sure. Lots of happy Mother's Day love rolling in in the comments. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ooh, I almost lost. It's really weird for me sometimes to remember that I'm a mom. I, and I don't know why. Not, well, that's hard to say. What I mean is because I didn't have Mia until I was 30, I spent a lot of years celebrating other moms. And now I get to be celebrated too, which is really nice. Um, to be quite frank, we don't typically do anything grand for Mother's Day. I will say that I have the luxury and the privilege of being married to someone that celebrates me all the time. Every day's, listen, every day's a holiday around. You know how I feel about my how love language. Be. Small acts of service is my love language, okay? That's how I roll. Uh, and we small, do that. Um, and I'm also really, I'm very, very inspired by other mothers and women around me. I'm very inspired by Spurtle. She's got two great kids. She's a phenomenal mom. For her, you know, kids first. Everything else comes last, and I admire that. Uh, Joe's cousins, who are great moms, my sister-in-laws, my own cousins, um, you know, every everyone around me on a daily basis that, um, oh, model, I forgot to add an egg. 
Hey, all of the women around me, but every day, sort of teach me the importance of being a good mom, right? I just got a message from Spurtle back here, and she says, tell Laura I'm watching on my TV. I love her. I love I guess you, she you can't. Let Laura can't really check her phone right at the moment, as you can tell. So Spurtle, let's wish Spurtle in the comments happy Mother's Day, and we wish her, we send her well wishes. She had surgery last week, so she's currently laid up, unable to do a whole lot. She had surgery on her foot, and I know it's driving her crazy because she's a doer like me. Uh, but she's got to get rest that foot. She's got to rest that ankle. So let's send her all the good vibes. Um, and it's so funny because I was thinking of her and she sent that to you. Right then. I was talking yep. about her and she sent that to you. Um, you know, we love her. She's great. Anyway, I always say, and I, I, mean, I only say this because remember, I was born in Italy and I'm surrounded by Italian women. So don't take offense. But I always say no one loves their kids like Italian women love their kids. We love everyone's kids. Like, I die over my kid, but, like, my girlfriend Amy and her two little girls, like, I die over them. Um, all kids are always welcome in my house. We will never have an adult-only party because that's just not how we roll. However, we will party until 4 a.m. and the kids can just sleep on different couches and underneath beds or work, coat closet, whatever. Um, that's how we roll. How are you making out over there? Awesome. Yours is coming right up. Awesome. So I, I, I pass just, it to others first because I gotta. I can't touch my cup. Oh. Give me, give me a few minutes. I gotta roll all the meatballs. But I want to show you, you my filling. In here, I've got the usual suspects of a meatball: egg, breadcrumbs, garlic. I added a little bit of olive oil to keep that chicken nice and moist. I've got the spinach. I've got parmigiano, Italian seasoning. You know. And I'm gonna actually pop these into the oven to cook. So I have them here on a baking sheet that I've lined with some parchment paper. And also, this recipe really stretches that one pound of ground chicken. Look how many it made. It's gonna make a lot of meatballs, and they are so good the next day. They're just pretty phenomenal. All right, G, I'm turning it on to you if you got any questions for me because I currently cannot touch anything. All right, I got you. Hold on one second, coming up. So, um, and just so you know, I, I mixed everything together. Uh, the, 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 I'll give you the, real quick the recipe. So we did two shots of, uh, of, of, of or a shot of, I'm sorry, two shots of pineapple. We did two shots of rum chata, one shot of rum. You shake it with ice, shake it over ice and you pour it, right? So you'll see me uh, make Lars in a couple of seconds. But um, I will tell you, uh, it's, it's, it's great because it's gonna be nice and light and have a good uh, lime flavor as well as a little bit of cream, creaminess to it, right? So it's gonna be really good. So let's go on with a question here. Um, one second, I will pull up. What's the greatest impact motherhood has had on your life? Is that question for you, Mike, or for Laura? Uh, I mean, it could be for me. I mean, I, I you know, but uh, but it's from N underscore Loretta on Instagram. Loretta, um, hmm. I always thought that I was a selfless person, but you don't really understand that until you have kids, like. I'm pretty much consumed by worrying about her 24-7, if we're being frank. It's one of the things that just takes my anxiety and kicks it into the next gear. Um, you just, I don't, what was the original question? What's the greatest impact motherhood has had in your life? I think it's just taught me how to love in a very different way. It's like, I don't even know how to really describe it. It's more of a feeling and really no one can teach you or make you understand until you have a, until you have a kid yourself. Um, I just cannot imagine my life without her and everything else without her is so boring. You think of all the things that have fulfilled you when you didn't have a kid. I'm just going to speak for myself because I know you can absolutely be fulfilled and happy without children. Absolutely. If that's the, the route you choose to go and no shame in that. But for me, I always knew that I wanted a child. At least, one. wow, that is that is beautiful. So that's for you. I know you said to give you give you for, uh, last, but that is beautiful. you are the mom. You are the mama in the house, and Thank the mama you. bear always comes first, right? We Thank do it for the mamas. You. Wow, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna roll these meatballs fast. Um, I don't know. You just like it, there's like a different understanding of love, and I just it's hard to really put it into words. You just 
love like never before you worry like never before everything is magical through her eyes like who knew christmas could be that magical who knew going to the beach and searching for seashells could be such a highlight but all of those things are i don't know if i've actually even answered your question but sometimes questions like those are really hard to answer you can't really put into words how it's changed you does that make sense it makes total sense to me being a mom is, is, is a great thing, right? And, it is a great uh, thing. And, and here's the thing, though. It's, it's a great thing for those that long to be a mom. There are many people that don't long to be moms or parents in general. And I don't think that anyone should be made to feel guilty about that. I'm just saying if you long to be a parent, I, the phrase I always use to everyone that tells me they're pregnant is I always say, be prepared for your soul to be set on fire. And it's the most soul-satisfying just fulfilling journey of your life. Is Coming it always back. easy? Is it always easy? No. Um, will you ever stop worrying? No. Uh, but it is very fulfilling. So those are my, that's my two cents on that. That's beautiful. Beautiful, Laura. Beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Let's see. So uh, does your husband also cook? We've, we've, we've discussed this before, but we always get the same question. And yeah. I figured well, we could. I do, I do. All the time. The answer is every day. I mean, I'm in the kitchen morning till till dark every day. Oh, please. And I, I, <laughs> I gotta no wash even my hands. Take over this one because I gotta wash my hands. And Mike, we have a super chat from Brenda in there. She left a comment. Ah, wait. Oh, Mike's gonna do the horns today. Oh, we got Brenda. Brenda, thank you. <laughs> Brenda, Brenda, you're my A1 from day one over here. We love you very much, Brenda. Um, happy Mother's Day, uh, Laura, and all of you watching. Well, Mike, love your shirt. Thank you. I picked it out for the mothers. I do it for the mothers every day. A lot of comments um, about Mike's shirt, actually. It's great. Lots of comments. I told you. And there was somebody, Laura, earlier you said, Mike, how are you making out over there? And I look over, I, I see Mike's not making out with anyone. So, Mike, uh, for the single ladies out there, you know. Oh, <laughs> enough, enough with this. <laughs> enough with this, Joe. I'm telling you. I'm going to go sip of this. I still have a cough, by the way. Oh. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Here we, go. Here we go. Okay. Best drink you ever made. I like the mustache. Can't tell. Best drink you ever made. <laughs> now that I coughed once, I won't be able to stop the whole rest of this. Don't start with me. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Uh, like, Laura, is your daughter getting a sibling? Listen. I think you I'm got your make hands it full. Short and sweet. <laughs> my uterus, my business. Okay. I always say it is a very controversial question to ask someone simply because starting a family is a question that is between two people. Okay. Not your parents don't have anything to do with it. Your siblings have nothing to do with it. It's between you and your spouse. Okay. There's a multitude of reasons why people stop at one. You may not be able to have. Oh, children. there goes the floor already. You it's may all, have. Toast. You may not be able to have children. <laughs> you may have some serious PTSD from your postpartum journey. You may have tried to conceive and couldn't. You may have had miscarriages. There is a multitude of reasons why people stop at one. The reasons are mine and mine only. I will not be sharing that. And I also will not be made to feel guilty over not giving my child uh, Can we get that, that, that jar? Can we move that, that jar? Out of there? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. So, beautiful, long beautiful story thing. short, it's for me to know and for you to find out. Whether or not we will have one, it's for me and my husband to decide and for nobody else's input to matter. A to, surprise. to the men. A to the men. You know? A to the men. Because, but, but like, you know how what? many times Mike, have people... Mike, it's Mother's Day. We don't need the A to the men. Let's just say men. <laughs> okay. It's A to the women. <laughs> oh, you, you are being how feisty many times, today, How many times have people been... And I know this because I know, I, I know of people that have been married a long time, don't have children, and people are like... Don't you think it's time not knowing that that person has had miscarriages, that they've had a really hard time conceiving. And every time you ask that question, it is a dagger to the heart. You know what? So I say, be very careful with who you ask. Can I address that, Laura? Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, one thing that, that was worked for me is every time somebody has a baby, I, I always, these old people always come to me and say, you're next, you're next. And I walk, and every time I go to a funeral with them, I say, you're next, you're next. So <laughs> it works out really well. You know, it works out really well. That's, uh, that's not even that's right. Funny. All right. So, that's funny. I'm sorry. So we have a couple. I mean, if someone says hilarious, always a sticky floor. I wonder whose fault that is. Not my fault. Um, 
Not my fault. Not Mike. That wouldn't be Mike. Mike would never. Mike would never be risking. Listen, never. I'm making your drink, so you better watch out. I I'm Italian. See, I, I still see two empty hands over here. I don't know. Well, it is delicious. Um, so, what delicious. do we have here? Um, let's see. Whoa. That was loud. Why does this taste like pumpkin? Pumpkin. Like there's there's zero pumpkin in that. Yeah, maybe it, maybe oh, the it's graham cracker. The, uh, the graham cracker the graham reminds cracker. you of pumpkin is pie. It? Mm hmm. 100% no, a graham not. cracker. It's not. Oh, uh, what are we and making here? Let's do a little uh, recap. So, it's this. there we go, rum chata. Yeah. Best drink you ever made so far. Thanks, boo. I appreciate you. Mm. I appreciate mm. you, little bro. You the white yes, you do. <laughs> you nasty. Here it comes. You nasty. All right, Jojo, coming into you live and hot. Oh, um, and where's everybody tuning in from? Today? Oh, yeah. Where's we love everybody finding out where everybody's watching, watching from. from. And what time is it? We want to know not only where are you we are watching nosy. from, we are but nosy. where? what time is so it? So can we get that first sip drink with you, with you in it? I want to see what you think. You're going to love it. See. Joe's going to love it. It reminds you of the key drink from Key West. Remember that? Key lime coladas. Oh, yeah. oh, Mike had one too many of those. I did. I did. Mike I got in an one argument. too many of those. And he got in an argument with these guys on, at the pool. Oh, it wasn't yeah, good. it wasn't good. wasn't good. I just, you know. They were it, not nice. But it brings me back to Key West. It's amazing. Mike's not bilingual, but he understood what they were saying. I did. They were mean. I did. We had, we had to drag him out of there. They called me the big devil man. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I didn't even do anything. I didn't even know who they were. Yep. I was just sitting in the pool in the water drinking just my drinking too many lime these. drink. Yep. And before I knew it. You know what? You know what? They don't want none of this. Mm -mm. Okay. We had, to, we had to this. take them out like bouncers. Yep. I'm telling you. I'm going to start on my sauce. We are making rigatoni with sun-dried tomatoes, except no sun-dried tomatoes, because I didn't, couldn't find any. Uh, I'm just using my jarred cherry tomatoes, which is fine. Lots of shallots, lots of burrata at the end. It's so delicious, because the base is tomato paste, so it's not as saucy, but it's good. It's lots it's of amazing. people commenting where they're from here. It's oh my goodness. I don't even think we can shout them all out if we tried. West Palm Beach. I saw tons of Floridians. Oh my goodness! Palm Beach. Did they only the notifications go out in Florida? What? It, everybody's in Florida today. Like almost everybody. Oh, me. Uh, Laura, uh, Monine Saman said, "Let Laura know she she I killed my interview." Yes. Good for you. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Boom. Babe, right there. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Is All right. Joe oh, making oh. dinner for Mother's Day. All right. We got another super chat from Chris Gomez. Thank you, Gomez. Said, I'm making your roast chicken with chimichurri for Mother's Day. Love you, Lara. It's so good. It is so good. Uh, that's a great recipe. I haven't made oh. that in a while. Cimarano comes in with, don't forget the Italian word of Tasty Thursday. What's the oh, Italian what word, word is, today? What word is Ooh, it? That's a good you question. You guys pick a word. Okay, well, how do you say mother? Is that too easy? Mama. Oh, okay, we can't do that. Mama. That's too easy. Every, that, that, that one, you'd pass it. Everybody would pass that one. I would guess that. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> how about shirt? Because Mike's wearing a really fancy shirt. Well, that depends. Is it a button down or is it a t shirt? Well, it's a button down. Is it's that a, a button down? It's a no, t shirt. It's a button down. Oh, it's a t shirt. Okay, t shirt is a mayetta. Mayetta. But if you were having a button down, mine's sort of a button down. Uh, camisha. Camisha. Now, is that Napolitan or is that real, no. like regular? Napolitan? Italian? I shouldn't say real, but it regular. It would be, mayetta would be um, amayet. And then camisha would be agamisa. So it's amayetta? Amayet. Amayet. So, um,. I got to tell you, Laura, I've been practicing on my Italian because I'm oh. getting ready for the summer when we go to Italy, right? Yes. So I'm, I'm extremely excited. I didn't want to tell you, but I was going to be surprised. But I've been learning a lot of words that I didn't know, like the adjective words, the between the words. Mm. Like I didn't know, uh, uh, you know, all the stuff you to say between things. You You'd know, almost so like, want to use it in a sentence, except that Laura's family only taught us all the curse words. And so yeah, we pretty don't much. Even, you know, all our sentences we can't say. Pretty much. But I, at least I'd be able to understand a little bit of Nona's mumbling when she talks to me. Because all I hear is, no, 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 no. And I'm like... What is she saying? I only know formal Italian. Yeah, I don't know what she's saying. I feel like she's she just yells. happy sometimes. Yeah. She yells. She's got a very loud, loud screech. But I will tell you, when I get there and get a Nona hug, when I get the hug from Nona, that first hug feeling you get when you just give her a hug and she's like all around you and embraces you, mm -hmm. you know that she loved you. You feel it. You feel it you in, feel inside. You feel it. Oh, there's definitely love. No doubt about that. How do you say happy Mother's Day in Italian? And is there a Mother's Day in, in you know, Italy? Uh, auguri della festa della mamma. Okay. Is there a Mother's Day? Yeah. Okay. Is it the same as ours, same day? I think that there's past already. I'm almost <laughs> sure there's past. I could be wrong. Don't 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 cue me on that. I can't remember. We have another question from Mirella Mar 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 Marsu. Mirella Marcu. I don't know how to say the last name. I'm so sorry. They said, "How did you decide, or what made you want to start a YouTube channel?" By the way, I've been watching you for ten years now. Love your recipes. Oh, uh, it was not my idea. 
uh, it was Joe's idea. And to be quite frank, I was a little drunk. And <laughs> Not I, when you decided, though. Just when we finally got you on camera for the first time. No, when I decided. No, it was also to get you actually... Oh, I was very nervous. And by a little drunk, I mean I had a glass of wine. Because if you haven't noticed by now, I am a lightweight. If I finish this entire drink, I will be hungover for 17 days. I'm a lightweight, just so that we're all aware. Two seda, uh, uh, two, uh, uh, two beve, uh, bono? This sounds like Duolingo. They love beve in uh, Duolingo. What did you just say to me? I don't know. I'm, I, I can't think of the words that I'm learning. What are you trying to say? You said you drank, and then too much. Mucho. Um, uh, molto bono vero? Vero, molto bono. Grazie. See, I don't even know what that all meant. I thought that, that meant isn't the color green great. I can understand it more than I can speak it, I guess, that, if that um, makes sense. I'm making my sauce. By the way, I have a link. I think Joe posted oh, it. Oh, I didn't put it, but I will. You put that so link? You'll, you'll need to refresh the uh, page to see the link once I okay. add it here. La Cucina says, uh, what, um, what kind of rum is this? It's a white rum. White rum. Simple white rum. Super easy. I use, I use Bacardi for this one because it's what Joe had in, in the liquor cabinet. It's uh, very light and easy to use. Um, and also, am I Italian? Somebody said, yes, I'm about 85% Italian as, as, as per... Italian-American. Italian-American as per um, Ancestry.com. So, yes. <laughs> you make me laugh. I, I, I follow the data. I follow the data. You're making me laugh. And somebody asked if we'll ever do a live while we're in Italy, and that's a great question. We will when we get a solid enough internet connection while we're there. It's usually just not that solid. Team. We have team. Yeah, well, like, everybody uses their cell phone in the family, and then we have to get a SIM card. What is happening? And then... I want to choose violence when well, I think about I mean, it, the Wi-Fi Sometimes, on, in Italy, Italy, the whole network is just down for three or four hours at a time, and you, there's literally just it's offline. So, and then I say to her a uncle... Is garlic? Why is it off? And he says that just happens. That sounds like Duolingo, Joe. Yeah, it is Duolingo. Thanks. <laughs> it was Duolingo. That's, yeah. It's Beve everything in Duolingo. Beve, yeah. Beve is everything in Duolingo. All right, let's see. Um... Okay, I'm just slicing up some garlic, by the way. Is Mike Joe's biological brother? Might as well be. We I mean, really this don't point, know at this point. We all you, live you pretty close pick to each blood, other. We weren't around. Pick... We weren't born to be. We can't be the judge of that. I mean, we grew up right down the road from each other, so technically we drank the same water and probably peed in the same sewer. So, yeah, we're pretty yeah, much I mean, brothers. <laughs> we don't know what our parents were doing before we were born. Yeah. Here you know, Michelle with one L. Ooh, that's my mama right there, yeah. She, she, she was fly. Yeah, she mm -hmm. was. Somebody said we should have posted some pictures of her on here. I'm, she I'm... was fly. You don't know what, you don't know <laughs> what her and Mr. and Mr. Vitaly were up to. Just saying. Mm. They were fly back in them days. You never know. You I'm never know. you. Uh, let me get to some questions. Come on. Wow, my eyes are on fire. Laura, are you for or against air fryers? I love oil. And I love it so much. And I also have an oven. That's all I got to say. To me, here's the thing. Okay, here's what I got to say about that. I don't have anything against air fryer, right? I think it's a great tool to, like, reheat your french fries. Put in your kids' chicken nuggets, right? It's essentially a small convection oven. Okay, I have an all-in-one. It's the one by Emerald. It's the Emerald 360 something something or yeah, another. Uh, the best. I've had it for years. It's this big. It's the it best. It lives on my counter. I have had everyone that I know buy it because it's. I use it every day because there's only three of us normally. So if I want to put like a small something in the oven, I just throw it in there, right? Plus it's Emerald. So, so Emerald's yeah. awesome. Bam. So it does everything. Would Bam. I put chicken cutlets in there? Absolutely, absolutely not. Do I want dry shoe leather? No. I reheat them up in there though. You can reheat them, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it does have its benefits, but if you don't have the counter space, I would not buy one of those like traditional ones that look like, like a dome, you know? I would not buy those. The basket is this big. What the heck am I gonna do with that? Have you seen me eat? What am I gonna reheat in there? Four ounces of what? It's this big. So I like, the ones that are basically a toaster oven. That's the one I would go for. I love the Emerald one. I've had it for, I think since 2018. I've had it for literally years and years and years. I know, I've had everybody buy it because it's so good. Um, would I go out and buy one if I didn't have that one? No. I use mine every day. I just day. don't think that you, you can do the same thing that you could do in an air fryer in your oven. Just, it's the same thing. I a little sweet, uh, sweet little thing there for oh. you. You know me and my sweet bites. Oh, 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 I hear a sticky floor. What happened? I did not do anything. 
No sweet bite Sporto is watching. Sporto will love this drink. Mm. Oh, a little sweet bite? Look at this. This is fancy. Let me see if I can get... I'll do my little... Uh... Little something, something. I haven't had many sweets recently. A little demo here. Mike showed up Listen, I've been on a little bit of a macro count. Just because I have a photo shoot coming up. And your girl ate all winter. That tastes extra delicious. Right? Isn't it good? That tasted, that little piece of graham cracker with whipped cream tastes extra delicious. It's like eating something salty when you get your drink because, except this is sweet. It's a sweet drink to have with something salty, so, or have something My with your drink. My favorite thing, and if you close your eyes, you're going to be able to picture this, okay? When I, when you go to the beach in Italy, most of the beaches that we go to, or that I used to go to when I was a kid, what it's it's called like a Lido, which is like a private little beach club. I don't know. Yep. And each one, they have like a restaurant that you go to for lunch, and then they have a bar that you go to for like ice cream in the afternoon and, and coffee for the adults. And the best thing is when you are out of the salty Mediterranean water and you're still dripping wet and your uncle give you ice cream and you're eating the ice cream while you're like, like wet and dripping onto the ice cream from the water and that ice cream has like a little salt to it from the water and the sweetness. It's like, it's heaven. I'm 36 years old and there's not one day that goes by when I'm in Italy at the beach that I do not get my afternoon ice cream because it's like one of my favorite memories. I said it before, I'll say it again. Amen to that. That's one of my favorite memories too. It's so good. And also getting, the other thing I like too is at the Lido in Italy when we go to, and we go up there and I get the, um, I get the um, mozzarella, the mozzarella, mozzarella and... Uh, and, uh, and uh, what do you call it? Chicken, um, chicken. Chicken and mozz. Yeah, chicken ah, and mozz. Chicken and mozz. We yeah. do this all the time in Italy. We love, in Italy, they have the best, best, best rotisserie chicken. Best, okay? It doesn't taste anything like our rotisserie chickens here. They are cooked over like an open fire, like a wood open fire. Then at the bottom, they have potatoes. So all those chicken juices fall onto the potatoes and the potatoes get all crispy and delicious. And then they spray white wine on them and it's just so good. And when we go to Italy, we go to my mom's house, we buy chicken, we buy moths and we have chicken and moth parties. And we eat like whole rotisserie chickens and potatoes and buffalo mozzarella and it is so, I'm like salivating just thinking about it. So good and you have to have, even though you're gonna get potatoes, oh, I'm sorry, you're going to get crispy potatoes when you buy them, like essentially really thick, fat french fries that are delicious. You also have to get a bag of plain potato chips to eat it with because it's very traditional. And it's just sublime. Mm. So, Laura, uh, Louis Spa uh, Spaniolo says, do you get ice cream or gelato? Ice cream. Ice yeah, cream. Here's, here's a funny thing. I'll get a gelato here and there, but my favorite is like an ice cream bar, like a Twix ice cream bar. I love... The, my favorite ones, which I did not see for probably over 20 years since I moved here, until last summer, I could not believe it that they had it. I was shocked. I guess it was like a new launch, a relaunch. They're called Wiener. It's literally called Winner, but we call them Wiener. Winner. And it's like a Twix ice cream bar. And it's so good. And it's my favorite, 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 favorite. So that is my story with that. Very nice, very I'm nice. add my tomato paste to my shallots and garlic. By the way, my, my chicken meatballs are behind me. This is gonna need a minute to like loosen up. You see how it's like really thick in here? You just gotta loosen it. You gotta, you gotta cook it. You gotta give it a minute. Who needs a refill, by the way? Anybody need a refill? Oh, good God, no, not yet. Okay, and so Laura was talking about the chicken, the uh, rotisserie chicken. What they do there that's so different is they do take... Do you have a video or I picture? I do. I actually have... So a lot of the food there is cooked on ash wood, which is from the ash tree, mm. which is difficult to get here in the States. We get oak a lot. We get cherry, that type of wood. So when we make our pizzas in the backyard, a lot of times... They, oh, you're... <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. So... That cough. I can't that we, cough. We'd be better off using ash wood, but we can't always get it. So um, we, I use oak in place of it here, uh, or hickory. But there, they get this ash wood and they pile it into the back of these ovens that they have. And the chicken is a rotisserie chicken oven, same as we have here, except instead of being fired with gas, it's fired with wood. So you have these. And is it not charcoal, amazing? These like. Is it not oh yeah, I have a picture up right had. now. I, I wish I had a video. I actually have a video somewhere you else. Do. But here you go. It's on the camera though. Um, 
So this is how it works. You can see in the back, you see behind it, there's like a gate to the left of this picture where the guy opens up the door and just shoves more logs in and it just burns the logs and the, the flavor from the wood gets can into the... Yeah, come take a look. That's, that's the machine. Oh, I saw... Look and at the potatoes. You can see the potatoes. So the look drippings the from the oh, chicken God. Oh, God. fall into the yeah, pan underneath God. as the potatoes cook and that's how you get the flavor for the, for the potatoes. It's, it's phenomenal. I had to <clears> share. I gotta tell you, Joe, I, I, I didn't believe it until I saw it there, but the way they spray it with the wine... Isn't that amazing? I it's want just that something. so bad. I, I don't want... know if you'd be allowed in the States because we have different, like, I mean, if it's outside, you probably could, but a lot of these wood-fired ovens, you know, you're not allowed to have them inside because they're well, taking a permit for them. Right. That place was sort of inside, sort of outside. Yeah. Where it was at. Yep. All right, I'm adding my cherry tomatoes in here if anybody wants to. This re original recipe for this calls for sun-dried tomatoes, but like I said, I hate my shop right. Okay. But we are getting a new one. It's supposed to be a Zally's, which you know it's going to be good. Oh, God, yeah. Had that for you. Just, you know, a little something, something. A little, little, something, mm -hmm. little something for the kids. Oh, Auntie Fee. This is not very saucy, but you have to just trust the process. Oh, and that basil. Is that the Greek basil from ShopRite right there? The one, the one in that jar. What is that's that? That's a regular oh, from regular. the garden no, that won't mind. die. There's a basil that they have at ShopRite. They call it Greek basil. It's a real small leaf, and I brought it home one day, and Papa Sal was here, and he almost kicked me out. Look at this. Look at this beauty right here. This oh, is not cool. basil. This is something from... This isn't even the same plant, he says. Send it back. I said Papa Sal is delicious. Mm. Okay. Oof. Mod on, Laura, mod on. Can Maybe. I help with anything? Can I cut anything for you? Good? You do something with that graham cracker that just tastes so good. Uh, you know, it's just, it's called love. It's called this, you know, the extra love inside. Mm. It's called love. Can the I help with anything? Love. Are you good? Uh, you want to chop some onion for me? I got you. I love chopping onions. I love, Here. I love when it comes to my eyes. It just makes me feel so Go happy. The feeling that, when, the feeling I get when it comes to my eyes. Nice how, and how thinly sliced. Oh, yeah. slices. Yeah, so take off the ends. Slice you cut and yourself, like Mike. This is a lot of pressure. Nah, no, I got you. I got you, Bill. I, I do this all the time. He's this got is like, this. you know, this is like, this is like, I, I call this Tuesday or what's today? Thursday? I call it Thursday. I'm just gonna pour this in. Shouldn't be this saucy, but you know what? Look how beautiful. Okay. These are my garden tomatoes. Beautiful. Don't beautiful. get it twisted. Mmm, smells good. I'm yeah. actually gonna move this back on the back because I need to move my skillet over to make my sauce for the meatballs. Long ways, right? Like this, right? Nope. Hold on. Cut it oh, in half. How first. you want it? You it's, tell a great, me. it's a great tip. This is a nice learning moment. You tell me how you, you want You never it. want to cut something like this because you see how it rolls around? Very dangerous. You want to always have a flat surface to slice. Oh, and so, then you want it like that. Okay. Yeah. Got you. I, I always got you. have a flat surface. I got you, boo. This don't thing you worry. This thing telling me that my activity goal is achieved. Wow. Congratulations. I don't even, I don't even know why. You're crazy, like, Why? Bro. Hold on. I'm classically trained. No, I'm not. I don't set goals on mine, so I never have to be disappointed. I my goal of mine is 700 calories a day. I hit it every day, but like it's tough. There's sometimes like I'm, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, all right, I gotta rearrange my life now. <laughs> but if you follow my Insta, then you know that I I walk between three and five miles a day. So that's a, you know that's a lot of fun. I'll tell you, walking is the best medicine. It is the most underrated form of exercise. Yep. It's oh, Mike, you're getting close to those brain. fingertips. We're all watching here in suspense. Oh, I, I hope you, I hope it's, you know, this would be the best time to have a slip. We're, we're, we're watching and we're all, we're praying for you. Don't worry, it's okay. All right, anything else? You good? That's it for now. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands and go back to my station. Okay. Mike, you're going to have to hit me with questions because we are behind on questions. Okay, I got you. I got you, boo. All right, so. I'm going to simultaneously work on a couple things. One piece of advice for a new mom to be. Give yourself grace. That is the biggest piece of advice. I know that you're going to feel overwhelmed because your whole life is going to change, right? And not in a bad way, but it, it will feel very overwhelmed at first. And you're going to feel very overwhelmed by the laundry piling and the things. And at the end of the day, you are going to be so exhausted. So give yourself grace. Ask for help. Um, it's something that I was not very good at because I just felt like I could do it all, to be honest. And, you know, Joe and I make a really good team. And for the most part, we pretty much, like, had it down pat. But, you know, it was, it was tough 
at first, but also keep reminding yourself that you're going to be in a very overwhelmed spot in your life for a very short period of time. Because before you know it, the baby will be sleeping through the night, you'll have a routine down, but it takes time. Don't feel like, here's the thing, I used to, the first, the first week of her life, of Mia's life, I thought she was broken. I thought she was nocturnal. Did I ever tell you the story? Because she would be up all night, but she'd be sleeping all day. I'm like, what is wrong with this kid? She's nocturnal. She doesn't know her days from night. And then her pediatrician laughed at me in a loving way because he's wonderful. He's like, no, it's just she has no idea what's happening. She just went through the hardest workout of her entire life. She's tired. She's cranky. And she just wants mom. And so that gave me a good chuckle. But after, I would say she started, she was always a really good sleeper. But after about six, eight weeks, we just were in such a good rhythm. We understood each other. Remember, like, she's a first-time baby, right? She has lived in your womb her whole life where it was cozy, it was comfortable. She got fed. She was just in her little spa. Now, all of a sudden, she's cold. Her arms are flaring around. She's got to cue you when she's hungry. She screams for anything. So it's something that's very new for both of you. And you're the um, chef, you know? Yeah, right. She's fresh. <laughs> And before you know it, you have a sassy six-year-old who tells you that you make the best peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So uh, I just say give yourself lots of grace. Soak it in. I would give up a month of sleepless nights to have one day with a newborn. I would. Because it goes by so fast. And when they tell you that, it is not a joke. Not a joke. And the craziest thing is you feel like you've known them your whole life. That's yeah. the crazy thing. Even though they were brand new, by. you still within a month, you, it's like they've been there forever. It goes Does anybody need refills, by the way? Because I, I'm, I'm, I drank like three of them already, and it's getting to be kind of crazy. Uh, so Miss Sophia over here needs one for sure. Okay, good. I got you. Coming up. Coming up. Um, um, okay. You know, one thing you said about our pediatrician, I love him. We've, he's got to be the best pediatrician in the world, honestly. He but really is. One thing, my favorite part of it is he has a sense of humor. Oh, he's so funny. Not all doctors have a sense of humor. No. Let me tell he's you. so funny. I cracked a joke when we went to see the girl doctor before we had the baby. And, you know, she's, she goes over, like, what to expect and all. And that's what... Not the doctor that's Not your main doctor. What's your doctor? I ain't going to say no names. And she says, do you have any questions? No, I didn't have any questions. So I just said, is the baby going to cry? She thought I was serious. She's I mean, of so course mad. the baby's going to cry. Babies cry. Hey, Joe, get a shot of this pour, by the way. Get a shot of this pour. How creamy it is. Ready? You oh, got wait, it? Hold on, hold on. Here we, here we go. Right here. Let's get oh, this. Oh, yeah. On cam Look one. at the cream. Wow. Beautiful. Look at the wow. cream. Wow, Mike. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I, need, I need to have you guys in my life for every day because I need somebody to just be like, wow, every time I send a good email at work or I get on a good conference call or whatever. Yeah, I want to have yeah. me. Wait, you know. wait, I missed the whipped cream. You got to put extra now. Oh, I just did. But I, I, will, I will do a dabble of the um, graham cracker on top. This you is know, because like why not? over here in the corner. One could say that I'm a graham cracker on top of life, you know? One could say that. And then, just, just because, you know, I, I, I learned this new thing where if you make a drink with a good topping, you got to put, even though it has a beautiful garnish on the side, you got to put something to, to take the dip off. See this right here? Mm, yeah, I didn't get a shovel with mine. You didn't get a shovel, no, but I, I will give a you a shovel with your next one. So you, that means you got to drink faster. So let's go. Well, I guess I'm ready for my refill. I need a shovel. Oh, are you now? Meatballs are butamous. Uh oh. Hold on, G. Hang Wait, on are, tight. are the meatballs coming out of the oven? Yeah. Pass it over. Press pass it over. Oh yeah. Here we go. I want you to see this because this is about to go into the oven. Let me take a look. Are we talking inside the red pan there? You got to yeah. tell me Tell me what you want me to see. In the red moment. pan. Let me get in this. Not on. This is delicious. It is so good on bread. It's so great on little bagel crisps, on little crostini. Um, you just take olives. I'd use Castelvedrano and Calamata, both pitted, thinly sliced garlic, olive oil, no salt. None. Fresh herbs. I'm using fresh oregano today. And then your borsin. This is really my favorite. The garlic and herb is my favorite. And then you throw the entire thing in a 425 oven for like 20 minutes and it's pretty much heaven on earth. A great appetizer, a great snack to have by the TV, a great starter, you know, in the backyard with drinks. Like it's just a great no fuss, no muss little app. That when you, you first posted, posted that with the, uh, with, the, with the stuff on Insta, like literally, like I, you know, I, because for some reason your stuff's always first when it comes up, you know, whenever I'm on Insta. So, I saw and that. It should be. Yeah. I, oh, I saw, I saw what you did. I saw what you did over there, and I saw you eating it. And then you sent me the video of it too, just to kind of like rub it in, which was amazing. I was like eating it and sending them the video. Yeah, she was definitely like letting me know that she had it, right? So I'm sitting there, I'm watching, I'm watching her eat it, I'm, I'm watching her crunch on it with the bread and you know the beautiful stuff, and I, I you know, I, I cried a little bit in my head. I cried a little bit. 
Then she said, you know what? I'll make it for you tonight. And I was like, oh, snap. Somebody loves me. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'm very nice um, that way. And I got a question for you. Shoot. Um, what unusual snack do you like that no one understands? Example, mine is salami slices dipped in vinegar. That's from T TDS. You know what mine is? And it's really not that radical. It's hearts of palm. Have to be the whole hearts of palm, not the salad cut. <laughs> you open up the tin, like you peel back the very top while they're still in their like brine, and you pour balsamic vinegar in it. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. They are so delicious. So delicious. I, I mean, you know what mine is, right? Which one's yours? My charcuterie board. Just oh, everything yeah. in it. Well, everything in the everything in the charcuterie board. unusual that nobody gets. Mmm. You know? Darling, could you move that oregano for me so I can get a nice shot of these tomatoes? Okay, I'm getting this uh, right here. This, Joe, this is for you. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that extra creamy. Look at that. And I'll give you an extra shovel too, just because you love your shovels, yeah, so right? We need, we need the shovels. It's like snow. It's like winter time. You yeah, gotta, you gotta get, be able to shovel. You need to get two little shovels in here. Mm. Mm. Let me tell y'all something about my mom. Now, I love my mom. Okay, I love her. She's a gem. She's funny, harmless. Is there a butt coming right now? Brutal. I sense a butt. No. I, I, this is this is a compliment sandwich. What's going on? But. Oh my God, she's brutal. You know, she, she's crazy. But she goes, Mike, every time she sees me. Mike! She gives a good hug, though. She gives a good she's, hug. She's great. We love her. Um, but Thanks, she's Mama. very, she's Good very much this, this like, fancy. she's very much like aloof. You know, sometimes she's just like aloof. And I'll never forget. I'll never ever forget. I was still living in Italy, so I must have been ten or eleven. And my stepdad. Um, He's no longer with us, but when he was when he was alive, he has a sister who lives in Torino, which is pretty far. And um, I'll just never forget it. And they were expecting her phone call because she called once a week, and they would catch up or whatever. And it was, I think, her daughter's something something. I don't know what was going on. But my mom is waiting for this phone call. The phone rings, and she goes, "How do I how do I look?" And I was like. Huh? She goes, do I, how, how do I look? I'm like, for a phone call? We're not talking FaceTime. This is, we're talking 1997, okay? Way before that technology. She got herself dolled up for, how do I look? <laughs> Aloof, right? Lover, harmless, but what? Now, her sisters, listen. <laughs> what about my aunts? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh. Look at Mike's face. Oh, I mean, the one, Silvana, can cook a mean cake. No, that is my, cake. we're talking about my mom's sisters. Oh, oh, oh her mom's sisters. And well, my cousins with a watermelon dress. I think, they, I think they fell in love with me, which was, which was very flattering, very flattering. But I'm not, I'm not trying to move to Italy today or tomorrow. So, uh, I mean, I, I would move to Italy, well, I guess. Listen, but they're a family of loose, okay? So harmless. But, like, I'm going to tell you a story about my Aunt Maria, my Zia Maria, okay? How long have I lived in this country? Since you were 12, so what's that? Almost 25 years. 35 years? 25! <laughs> whoa, whoa, fighting Damn! Words. Almost 25 years. Someone's got to give the rips. <laughs> Anytime I go back to Italy, the woman thinks I live in England. Which is, you know what? I just come to get used Your to Your mom it. did ask us when there was a ah! tsunami in, like, Japan oh, yeah, if we my... were okay in New Jersey. So geography's not really, like... It doesn't... Geography doesn't run in the family? Anyway... We go to Italy in 2015, and I don't know why this particular day is just so riveting to my to me. Because it was a day filled with my one cousin Angela coming out with her Spanx on to try to show me how she looks in her dress. She looked great. She looked she look amazing, great. but for the love of God, why are we having a fashion show with yourself in Spanx? I'll never know. But the time, it doesn't matter. The other the other cousin who has on a watermelon dress and she was walking around to show me that. Drink on something, will you? Ma bebe, bebe. One watermelon goes one way, one watermelon goes one way when she walks. It was a day, okay? Then all of a sudden, my, my aunt says, this is a, she's sitting down with her coffee. Mm. How's Elizabeth? I said, I'm sorry, who? You know, the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? Elisabetta. Like, well, what about her? Oh, you got to see her around? I'm like, what are you talking about? We talk to her? I'm like, okay, first of all, I don't live in the UK for the 400th time. 
second of all, pretty sure if I did, I wouldn't be at the Starbucks around the corner and the queen just waltzes in to have a coffee. To which she replies, so you don't? No, it's just not something that we do. I don't have conversations with Queen Elizabeth. Hate to disappoint. I will say though. Wait, well, it gets better. Oh boy. It gets, it, it gets better. Oh boy. When the queen died, who's, who's what's happened to me? Are you going to the funeral? I'm out. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Okay. I said, what are you, I don't, oh my God. I tell you this every year. I don't live in England and I don't know the queen. We live in USNA. You don't, are you going to the funeral? I should have said, yep, will do. I'm doing it. I should have just done that and just shut it down. But you know, I'm too good that way. All right. So, I'll send you pictures. Mara, I'll, you got to, you got to shovel over there for your beautiful refreshed um, drink. Oh, so, shoot. um, also, uh, first of all, what's up, Kate? I see my shout out oh. from Kate. Thank you. Um, I will say one of my favorite memories is going to your mom's house and we always get invited upstairs. Always get oh, invited upstairs. my neighbors. And so, it, oddly, I feel at home because if you know my last name, you know. If you know, you know, right? So, I, 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 we walk up these steps and there's like 15 different corridors to get up the steps, right? You got bars and, you know, everything. You feel like you're walking into a jail, which I felt at home at. I don't know why. But anyway... So you feel like you're walking up into jail. You get up to the top and it's some beautiful place with all these cameras all over the place. Sorry, I mean, sorry. When I, and when I say cameras, oh geez, there's, there's, sorry. A, there's situations happening. Uh, when I say cameras, I mean cameras. Like you, you see like it's like, you know, from like a crime movie, you know, whatever. And then on the roof of this place, it's amazing. Like you make, it's a lookout spot. You can see all the cool stuff. By lookout spot, I mean that as a, as a double thing. I don't know if it really is, but I hope, it, I hope it's not, but... I'm up there. It's Italy. Anything goes. So, and then Laura got mad at me because I waved into the eyeball of a statue because there was a camera in the eyeball. You're they not were... supposed to let them know. Not you supposed know. to let them know. You know where the cameras are. I didn't know. It was like it was like another. It was just like another Tuesday for me. I just thought at home because I don't know why. Something about it. But anyway, so Joe's sitting on the couch. I'm sitting at the table. They're giving me shots of oh, sambuca. Don't even tell this story. Don't tell. Me. <laughs> They're giving me shots of sambuca. I'm just you know I'm four drinks in Joe. Give me a break here. <laughs> I know where this is going. Oh, you know where this is going, baby. It's all good. It's great. So I'm sitting there, I'm, I'm, and by the way, they speak Napolitan, so I can't really understand. I see, understand maybe every three words, right? Because Napolitan is a little bit different than regular Italian. I can understand a lot, but I can't speak a lot, right? So anyway, they're sitting there giving me shots of Sambuca, a shot of, a shot of espresso. A shot of Sambuca, a shot of espresso. So Joe's over on the couch, and I'm just, I, you know, I'm the big guy. So they're like, oh, let's feed the big guy because he's so jolly. And I'm like, ha, 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 feed me. Yes, I do like it. Yes. So anyway, they just keep giving me stuff. They just keep giving me stuff. <coughs> Joe's over on the couch. All of a sudden, this little kid brings up a toy gun to Joe. No, no, no. It fell out of someone's purse. Let's oh, yeah, the toy. It fell this, out of a purse. This gun falls gun out of falls somebody's out purse, of purse, right? Onto a couch. Real life size. See, in America, we put on the orange tip on the gun. And I just no got done tip. waving into the eyeball of, a, of a, a Jesus statue or something. And, and I'm thinking, well, why do they have cameras inside the eyes of the statues? And now a gun fell out of a purse. This could be real. We could be in a real situation. we be safe. Yeah. So I was being safe. There's no orange no, tip. No, you on would it. be. You would be in the best place. But Mia was there, and I wanted to grab the gun. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, so that was a that was a crazy Joe story. Uh, he was sitting on the couch behind me. I, everybody jumped in the room like they were scared, and uh, it was definitely a, a scary situation because I thought they were gonna shoot Joe. It was a water gun. I was like, what am I gonna do? I I, I have a little bit of protection on my body, but not enough to maybe protect it from me from a lot of gunshots. So I was like, how can I protect Joe? Because you know Joe's my brother. I, I would I would dive in front of a bullet for him. A lot, Meanwhile, this is the norm for me because yeah. I grew up there, and I don't. I'm it like, might have been a real gun. We never verified that it was. It was a water gun that was clear on the outside. It was not clear. There was no clear parts on it whatsoever. It was clear. Um, so we got something from Blue Ninety Two that said, "Can you react with the comments more um, instead of drinking anything?" So you know I will what? tell you, Blue Ninety Two. Blue Ninety Two, direct. Blue Ninety Two. You are very direct. First of all, my iPad that's called, died. That's called being a rat. It is. No. Uh, Joe, I iPad appreciate died. it iPad died, so I, I need the help iPad with that. died. Well, that's why we gotta um, get Mike a new iPad. But I will tell you, um, if I got more questions in the comments, because I'm going through and scrolling the best I can, if you help me out with some questions, I would be more than happy to uh, oblige by answering them. Mike, I'm getting you an iPad charger. We'll I'm gonna go on YouTube and just watch from my phone until uh, you know until you get me the charger. But anyway, it's it's a great it's a great time. So look at these meatballs, Beautimus. Hold on, give me one second. I'm getting him a charger. It's okay, JoJo. Don't worry. Um, all right, Put so, here. Oh, somebody, uh, so La Cucina de Jessica said, I just spit out my wine. How's Elizabeth? <laughs> that's, 
That was really funny. Um, we got, um, let's see. Okay, so what well-known cook would Laura want to cook together with? What? If you were cooking with somebody like a famous chef, and you, you could go back in time, any, any time, alive or dead, what chef are you cooking with? And I, I know the answer, but we'll just let you go. Nigella Lawson. Of course. Nigella. For me, it would, for me, it would be Anthony Bourdain, but that's just me. Well, he's too, um, what is the word? What is the word? Intimidating, because he's, you know. Yep. Like a chef chef. Um, let's see. I'm, I, if, if you give me some more questions, peeps, I'd be more than happy to shout them out. Go um, to the Instagram ones I sent you. I did. Oh, you know what? We got, we got another one that, that asked me um, if I can share a way to make this as a drink. Um, without any, without any, um, so I'll come over to the camera so you can see me because okay. JoJo's busy. Now, right quick, I just have to make an announcement. I burned a little bit of the sauce in my other pot, ones. so I There's no receptacle in your area. the sauce I appreciate to you, this. Because that's just what happens sometimes. You know, sometimes it happens. But you don't want to, it's not scorched, but it's enough that it would bother me if I kept it in that skillet. It smells amazing. Doesn't it? it? Smells amazing. Um, it does. So a virgin version of this, a, a virgin, virgin version, would be a little bit of heavy cream, right? Probably like two shots of heavy cream, uh, one shot of milk to like, dilute it a little bit, and then you want to go with a uh, shot of lime juice, and then you want to throw in a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon, shake it up, for, for, shake it up real good, shake that baby up real good, over ice, pour it in a glass, and then with a little bit of uh, whipped cream and uh, garnish. That's, that's the way to do it, if you're gonna he do likes. it for the kids. All right, we're back, I'm back, I got you a charger. It's not charged yet, it's gonna take a minute. You got it. But you know how they roll with, uh, with, with Apple. Let me taste that. Meatballs oh. are simmering back here. Uh, Joy, text me your password. Um, no one's gonna be able to do anything with it if I say it out loud. Okay, go for it. And I, every number I say, so this way nobody knows it. Every number I say, you gotta subtract one and divide by There's two. There's no way I'll do that right now. So I'll text it to you. Just text it to me. All right. There we go. All right. Crisis averted. Sauce is looking good. Eudemus. Joe, do you still collect squirrel, squirrel figurine, figurines from uh, Indiana? I have two of them, uh, but that's it. What? Squirrel figurines. You don't remember that? You remember the ones like the nutcracker, the squirrel nutcracker? Oh, yeah. Let me see this sauce that we have. Oh, that is a beautiful sauce. Look at that sauce. Mmm. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Where's my drink? It's oh, drank. Back here. Back here. Okay. Mmm. Uh, mm. Laura, do you have any tips for learning uh, Italian for beginners? Don't come, don't ask me. I've been with my husband for 17 years and he still doesn't really know much. Hey, I hey, hey we, we've been over this before. You don't label things. Just label things in the fridge. Uh, don't let me eat if I don't get the word right. It's that easy. Starve me. Starve me out. <clears throat> then again, Favorite right Netflix right. series at the moment, Laura? I'm not watching anything at the moment, which is so sad, with the exception of Vanderpump, Vanderpump Rules. Hey, why do I get an email every time there's a new Vanderpump Rules? I don't understand. I don't really... I don't, I don't because the gods need to be notified? Oh, that's why they're notifying me then. Because <laughs> the, gods, the gods need to know. You don't understand. How's drinks looking, it everybody? It is my all-time favorite trashy reality TV show. And Scandal It would not fly in Jersey. I'm just going to put it that way. It would not fly in Jersey. Drinks okay? Drinks okay? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Put a little graham cracker on top. Oh, I got you, boo. A little extra graham cracker crumble. Crumble. Okay. Do you need a shovel with a little no, bit of cream? No, just a crumble. Okay. Just a little crumble. What is going on in this corner? It just hits real good. It hits good. It hits real good. Yeah. There we go. I like it. Mm. I should have given you an extra shot of uh, Bacardi in there because mm. we all love Lara with a little bit extra sauce. But uh, you gotta, you gotta uh -uh. sneak it in there and she doesn't know it's there. Mm -hmm. Throw no, a little, little pumpkin die. spice on there with the Bacardi. Hold on, I might be able to get a shot of what you got going on back there. Let me see what's going on in this pan. Can you tell us what you're doing over there? Lara Vitale. Oh, I'm just uh, stirring my meatballs in my Parmesan yes. cream sauce. Looking good, looking beautimous, mm. you know? Yeah. Looking good, looking beautimous. Mmm, mmm, that is some creamy meatballs right there. So what do we have? Can you tell us, uh, give us a recap on what we're making? Because yeah, we see that in the comments a lot. Let me just taste my sauce for seasoning. 
Looks like we're getting ads in there, Joe. Uh, Sony said they're ads. Yeah, I'm going to look into that. I saw someone said they got a commercial during this. I'm going to see if I can make that not happen on the next round. Sorry about that. Mm, that uh, tastes there good. seems to be mm, a change in settings. I saw it twice now. Is this one? Listen, I don't know much, but I know good food. Chris Shoemaker says, uh, Laura, you may not remember me, but I was the one who brought you flowers at your book launch. <gasps> I know. What's his name, Chris? Chris. Yes, I remember him well. Of course I do. We also chat on Instagram. Oh, yes. so sweet. Brenda, very funny. Trigger words for Laura are Tom Sandoval and Mark Anthony. <laughs> now, Why? Wait you a went minute. to the Mark Anthony concert, though. No. We dropped you off there. No, not getting the right person. Oh. Like calling Mark Anthony, Louise, Mc what did you call him? Don't even come, don't even, do not, mm -mm. you know how many times. Was it, so wait, is he the one that did Puss in Boots or no? That's uh, Tony Banderas. I'll never get this right. Uh, you have so many crushes, I don't know who's who. It's making me violent. Ah. Okay, so if you three had to choose actors, a concert. I don't know singers, I don't know any pop culture. If you three had None. to choose a concert you could all agree on, who would you go see in concert together? Joe and I have no... We do not agree on music at all. It is one thing. You and I, though. Low bro. You and Mike I. Mike and I, on the other hand. Listen, Mike, when are we Wu going to the EDM? When are we going to uh, Miami? Old school, like two, between two, 99 and 2004 hip hop and R&B. I'm talking Trick Daddy. I'm talking Wu-Tang. I'm talking um, Trina, obviously. Uh, Yin Yang Twins. Um, old Fitty. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, ja Rule. As long as Fiddy ain't hanging upside down. And don't cancel me, but Kanye West, college dropout era. That, not now, because he's loco. But that era, college dropout, like through the wire, like that era. You and I would like... We'd be down. We'd be down. So, so a funny story. Joe and I... <laughs> Church choir? I don't know, because we no. have nothing in common. So Joe and I, Joe and I, Laura, so Laura and I, so here's the funny story. Okay, let me, let me, let me lay some facts down on you here. Laura and I, straight up hip hop concert all the way. Oh, oh. No doubt about it. All day. Joe and I, EDM, late night, you know, popping yeah, champagne. Late night doesn't cut it. Early, early late, morning. Late morning. Early, late mor late, early morning, mid you know. Yeah, I can't morning. do that. I can't do that. I need to be home by 10. <laughs> Me and Joe lit up Vegas together for, for a lot. Next day. A lot of good stories. I went out at 11.30 at night. I am already like an hour in. A lot of good stories uh, with, with Jojo and I in Vegas, which I will not get into because that's bro code. But we will say it was a good time. I'll find some pictures from Miami. Oh, Miami was saucy. Saucy. <laughs> saucy. Okay. Joe, what music do you like? I can answer that for you. Jojo, you and I both like the same kind of music well, together. Well, I mean, I was late for this live, actually. He listens to Taylor Swift. Well, yeah, we were, we were five minutes late because Taylor Swift came on. I had to circle the block. I couldn't shut it off mid-song, so, you know. Uh, so Jojo. He's a Swift. Jojo is, a, is more of like an EDM fan. Uh, with, with, so I, I get down to any he kind of music. He puts on, like, top 20 in the call. Like, no, I that? used to, and then I got a Spotify subscription. I don't listen to top 20 anymore because I burned out some kind of receiver in the back of my car, and now my local radio doesn't work right. So it's more EDM. I screwing around with the electrical. So I just got a Spotify thing and then we're good. Listen, it's more EDM right now. Uh, so Jojo and I, we get in. So here, I'm, I'm very musically diverse. I used to DJ back in college for beer money, a lot of quinceaneras and, uh, you know, whatever. So I go everything from Louis Armstrong and, and Dean oh, Martin and Frank I Sinatra. I do love the oldies, like Louis Armstrong. I also love um, Johnny Cash. I love Elvis. I love Frank Sinatra, Louis Armstrong. I love, I love all of that, definitely. That over top 20 any day. Yeah. I so, I I again, I get down from all that jazz, everything like that, and then I go all the way up to, the, to the, from, from there to hip-hop to old-school classic rock, all the way into uh, some EDM with JoJo. So, I'm musically diverse. I listen to everything. The only thing I don't listen to, and come at me for this, come country at me. music. Country music, exactly. Uh -uh. No. Mike, no. do you think my tractor is sexy? I do not. I, I, well, I think, I think you're personally, your tractor is sexy. <laughs> but I will no, say, I no one's changing my oil, music. and no one's checking me for pics. <laughs> not today. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I when think I you might have just made music, some people mad. All that picture is... <laughs> no, that's not country. But, like, I, it's just... A, here's the thing. I don't... I can't. It makes me feel depressed. I can't. Mm, I'm, I just, I'm not a country music person at all. There goes half the people that tuned out. It's okay. Someone we said that them. they were saying... Um, something's... Like, if you're not... Oh, they said... We're, if you're not at a Morgan Wallen concert, where are you at? 
I'd rather get a colonoscopy performed by a six-year-old who is in a dark room. Listen, I hate to break it to you. I got roofied at a country concert, and I won't be doing that again. Joe yeah, did get roofied at a country concert. It was not good. Jay, you've been roofied multiple times Twice. in your life for no reason. But that one was the bad one. And that was a bad one. Yeah, poor JoJo. I just we can't do country. Don't come for me. I can't do it. It's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. It wasn't my fault. I don't so, know who um, people were, but it was their fault. Joe Elvis TV says, uh, how's the lemon tree going? Actually. <laughs> oh, here it is. Here oh, my is. God. That's a deep one. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, the lemon tree. So... I originally had a lemon tree from like the Home Depot, you know, little one. I got nine lemons. I made some lemon cello. Things were sweet. Things were great. And then I killed it because I went away over the winter and I didn't water it. Then um, I got, I went down, the, I flew, no, drove, I got to Florida somehow. I drove down there and I went to a place that sells citrus trees and I bought a, a place that sells what? Citrus trees. You said citrus Pokey's trees? Farm, 441 Apopka. I think it's where it's at. 441 is south of Apopka. I'm transferring if you want a shot. So you <clears> let me see what we got. Where, what, are, what is we doing here? Uh, don't do anything yet. Hold up. Oh, I agree. By the way, um, bluegrass is not country. It's a different genre. That's and what I'm I must saying. Bluegrass. I don't like country at all. I, I know don't bluegrass like Morgan Wallen. I don't like... No. I okay. can't do it. So anyhow, I ended up buying a variegated kumquat tree. A nine it's pound, beautiful. It is beautiful. And a nine pound lemon tree, that did die last fall. It got hit by the frost. The lemon, the nine pound lemon tree only had a few leaves on it, so it wasn't like real healthy. Wait a minute, it was a kumquat tree? That was my nickname in college, how'd you know that? The kumquat tree is still alive. Oh, that's That good. one's doing good. Beautiful tree, by the way. Uh, it's out in the backyard now, I just brought it back. And it already is full, it has like 15 or 20 kumquats on it. It had like 75 at the end of the season, but they still Laura, check your oven. Yeah, and what else? Okay, good. Uh, I also have a uh, blood orange tree. Doing very well. Doing very nice. Yeah. The kumquat tree is really gorgeous. He's See, going back down to Florida and he's going to give me another lemon tree. Robin says, well, I need to find a van that I can drive to the lemon tree place because our van doesn't work down there. I do think country music often has beautiful melodies, but some of these lyrics are too corny. Now, I disagree because I grew up in the country and I had to check for ticks every day. Um, I, well, Joe, yeah, I'll check you, you for died. ticks because you're my buddy. My best friend, I got yeah, you. you. Get in here? Oh, I did get Lyme disease but, out of you. Yeah. That's a whole other story. Who am I refilling, by the way? Do you have fig trees? I do have some fig trees. I, um, I have two fig trees. I planted them in the ground. One of them, I think, was from a culture. So was, I think it's a tissue culture tree, and, and, and I sold a bad bag of goods. Because tish, tissue culture fig trees, I don't think they produce fruit. I didn't do enough research yet to find out, but it, it's two years old. Well, I bought it already big. It's been in the ground for two years. Zero fruits. Huge tree. Something's off. I got the a other fig one, tree growing. The other oh, one was good. Mike's fig tree from his yard. I went and, well, he dug it up, brought it over. Yep. Left it here to die. I revived it. Listen, I was in the middle of a crazy time at that point. I, I did had some to get CPR out of house. on it. And uh, had to I, got, I got it. It's alive. And it's a Peter's honey. It's going to make it through. Get in here. So somebody said, do you think you need a designated driver? I would say no, we don't need one tonight because I think we're actually, it's a slow burn. Joseph, where are you? We're good. Um, uh, we're, look at your program, your program output. We're looking right at it. It's right there. We, oh, wait, you want me to see this part? Yeah, is that burrata? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm -mm -mm. I'm, I'm going to get in on this shot because I want to see it. I got to see the magic happen. Oh, yeah, I can taste it already. All right, so what do we got here? We got rigatoni with shallot, burrata, and cherry tomatoes, but should have what was supposed to be sun-dried tomatoes. But, you know, our shop right just uh, hates me. Uh, mm. Someone's making fun of the man cough here. And we got Mary Mance. She says, I'm single. Sounds like she's trying to get that fig tree from you, Mike. I already got it, though. I took the fig tree. Single, ready to mingle. Ready to mingle. <laughs> Mm. This oregano though is pretty awesome, just so you know. Oh, that's not basil. Oh, no, I, I thought it was basil because was the leaves were so big on the camera. It looks like basil to me. It's like a small leaf basil. Oh, wow. Amazing. That's a good, yeah. And Jay, you, you grew this or not? What is yeah, this from? Yeah, that's from out in one of the pots. Grew? I Go, no, that's from the garden. Wow. Well, nice that's job. what I mean. I grew it. It's from, uh, it's, I got pots of it and I have, uh, I have it in the garden. But the garden's basically all mint right now. By the way, for the record, this drink will not make you drunk. It'll just get you, um, it's a slow buzz. For, it's, a, it's a long day drinker, sipper, so. It's a long day sipper. Yep. Long day sipper. Good for Mother's Day. You're not trying to get mama drunk. Well, maybe you are, but not trying to get mama drunk. 
That sounds like it might be lyrics Ooh. from a country song, actually. Not trying to get mama drunk. <laughs> Just trying to check her oil. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm here all day. Listen, we live smack between two towns. We get all the music oh, out here. Smell that yeah. sauce, Mike. Wait. Smell that sauce. Holy mother of God. I think we should have a meatball. We should share a bite of a meatball. I, I mean, that just smells unreal. I don't even know how it even... But wait till you, you see how tender this is. It's hot, though, so give it a second. Yeah. No, somebody ever asked, so no Margarita Consuelo Concepcion, right? No. Or tonight? Not tonight. She came tonight. on the on um, Mexican holiday. Uh, not Mexican holiday. The um, Mexican holiday. Sorry. You guys. I don't know how you do this. Every video she's like, she's shoveling from the plate and the pan into your mouth and pro. it's like burning. I can't do that. I have a weak tongue. I'm a pro. Here's a Taste weird thing meatballs. though. I've noticed that if you touch Not the food, best chicken meatballs you've ever had. Mother of God. Mother of God. <laughs> it's so good. I can't. Yo, I'm going to eat half this right now. Thank you. Get out Wait, my what way. did we used to call it when Mike would tap you on the shoulder? And it would like knock you over. It was called a Mike Genevieve something. Destroyer. Love tap. No, the Mike Genevieve's destroyer. Yeah. No, it was a Mike Genevieve love tap. Oh, for that little tiny one right there. See that little one right there? Little tiny baby? This is me. Oh. All right, hold on. Face off. Oh. Hold on. I'm not on. Now, I need to get you to eat a bite of this because I want to see your reaction because you wanted it so bad. Out now? I can't. I just can't even do it. This is so good. Okay. I'm going to die. Oh, I know this one. I had this the other day. Mm -mm. This was insane. Just you wait. Just you wait. Mm -mm. Let me get a shot of this right here. Mm -mm. And the bagel yeah. chips in there? Yeah, they're Come so on good. They're Come so on good. now. Very hot. Low bro. Seriously. You just, it's very hot, though. You're going to have to wait a second. But I mean, look at the sizzle. As they say, don't sell the steak, sell the sizzle. Look how soft it is. Mm. It's That's so hot, me. though. Listen, at the end of the day, as a human, all we want is cheese and salt. And believe me, this has got it all. It's hot though, so just be I'm a dime. It's the only reason we eat pizza, think about it. The bread is just the vehicle. It's hot, so be very careful. I did the, you gotta do lip test. You gotta put it on your lip. Oh, I was supposed to put a little lemon zest no, on that hot. and I forgot. It's okay. Lemon zest on this? Yeah. It's very good. <clears throat> I trust the process. It was very good. It's gonna burn. It's all gonna right. burn. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it good. I'm going to do it and doing it and doing it well. You should know that one. I look cool, Jay. Mike, get in, get, in, get in the frame. Come on. Don't be shy. Get in the frame. There we go. There we go. No, bro. We want to see you. Mmm. All right. Mud on. Mm-hmm. Mm. Sublime. It's like there's see, a party in my mouth and everybody's invited. I'm pretty sure I ate that entire one of those the other day by myself. Amazing. Yep. So, uh, let's recap. We've got rigatoni with burrata. Oh, let me get a few shots of these. Home ones. canned tomatoes and just the most delicious sauce. Truly, the most delicious sauce. Spinach. No, no, no. Chicken, spinach. No. Chicken meatballs with spinach and parmesan cream sauce. My mommy. And then. For a nibble, because you always gotta have one of those. Borsin, garlic and herb, always. Mix olives in the oven with some garlic and herbs, a little bit of olive oil, no salt, please, dear lord. 20 minutes at 425. Delicious. No salt, no salt. Um, and key lime pie, what is this? Key lime pie, uh, mixed drink. Mixed drink. Key lime pie cocktails. Banging. Mm. And that is how we will be ce celebrating early Mother's Day. We celebrate everything in this house through food, of course. But I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you for tuning in. And just a quick reminder, I live in the US. I have absolutely no affiliation to the royal family. Although if they wanted to throw me a bone and maybe like, I don't know, make me royalty somehow, I would not to knock it down and my aunt would be very happy. Just in case you guys have any connections. Um, thank you for tuning in. It's been a good one. For the next one, this is when it's gonna get very exciting. The next one, we're gonna have to actually do it on a Friday. So instead Tasty of the 20, Friday, instead of the twenty-five and the fifth, we're gonna do it on the twenty-sixth, and it's gonna be Tasty Friday. Just because Joe is out of town on that Thursday, are you ready for it? Because it is Memorial Day theme. Oh, I know it's coming. A hot dog party outside. Hot dog party. Hot dog party. It's a hot dog party. Hot dog party. It's a hot dog party. Our last time you sang a song on YouTube, do you remember everybody got upset and told you to stop singing? Because I'm downtown, 
Chicago. People were so mad. But it's a hot dog party. We're going to come up with a song for the hot dog party. It's going to be hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Hot dog, hot dog. Here comes Disney. I can already see the letter in the mail now. Hot dog, hot dog. What you going to do? What you going to do when I come for you? Hot dog, hot dog. What you going to do? What you going to do when I cook you? I don't think that's the lyrics. You. When I cook you. Guys. Can you sing me a country? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, Mike, you. Mike, Mike, your challenge is to come up with a country version of a song about hot dogs. I like my hot dogs with lots of grits. I like my hot dogs. And then it has to involve either ticks, tractors, or oil. I was out on the farm picking my hog to slaughter, then I got my hot dog out of the hog. I came on down, got my ticks off the hot off the off the hog. You don't, that, you don't pull ticks off of a hog. You check your your wife or your woman for ticks. I that's, changed that's my oil thing. while I saw them. them. I was getting it's my. It's a hog. nice thing to do. Oh, no, you know I, what? I can do. I can do. deconstruct the songs for you if you want. It's gonna be. It's not gonna be a. No, we're not gonna use a hog. We're gonna use. It's gonna be beef. All beef hot dogs. We only do all. All beef hot dogs always. Beef. So always. we're gonna say, I got my cow, made my hot dog out of it, and then I checked the cow for ticks before I did it. Then I changed my. Not your I changed my tractor's oil. I don't know. You got to change oil on a tractor every day. Very, very rarely do you change the tractor oil. I mean, like maybe once a year. Well, that sounds like a very efficient way to run a tractor. I mean, listen. No farmers, no food. I love. I grew up on a farm, but I will tell you. I will tell you. Got my hot dog. I'm checking it for ticks. Check I'm gonna put them on some buns. Put them on some buns. Put some some crispy baked beans buns. on the side. Oh, uh, you just say baked beans? My oh, time baked brown. beans. Little brown. Oh my. Oh my God. My time baked, baked beans? beans. Yo. Bro. Yo. Another level. I I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. I think we're li- fifty percent of everybody just tuned Don't out. Don't unfollow. It's all good. We it's have okay. a terrible rhythm. Uh, we're gonna make some Italian baked beans. Mm-hmm. Hot dogs. How do you do? The toppings, and some sauerkraut, some thinly sliced onions. You're going to have to Can order do... those peppers for me. Oh, the peppers from Chicago. You're going to have to order those. They're like little mini tiny peppers. Yeah, aren't they... you going to Chicago? I am going to Chicago. Oh, yeah. you me peppers? I'll be in Chicago next week. Mike, are you peppers? checking the bag or are you going through the TSA? Listen, free I'll, I'll buy it in the, uh, they have, they sell them right there in the, in the uh, airport, in the O'Hare. Put your money where you your mouth is. Listen. And Little then, brown. I don't I know, what do you do for like a dessert for a hot dog party? What did I do last year? I don't remember. Because I had a hot dog party last year, Memorial Day. You did? I did. I had a hot I'm, dog the other day, believe it or not. Hmm. You didn't have my hot dog from my hot dog no, party. No, I was over. I feel like I'm going to make like monkey bread or something, but that's hot hard hot to make. Dog. My brother's up. Pull up. He's, he walks well, out of the house. Well, I can't make dog. that alive. Not churros, yeah. Mm, well, let's, get on. let's think about that. I don't think about that. Let's think about that. I need oh, what drink? What kind of drink? An Americana. Drink suggestions in the comments, please. An Americana looking drink. Yeah, Americana. Red, white, and blue. Uh, that's gonna be really hard. You guys are gonna put me to work. It's not good. It's not good. Um, and then let me think. Come back for a hot dog party. Yeah. It's gonna be grand. Join us. Tasty Thursday, but on a Friday. Tasty Thursday on Friday. We're doing this outside. We're trying party. to do this outside, right? Yeah. Get on that's down That's gonna to be interesting. As long as it doesn't get rain, on. we're good. Get on. Get on down for the hot dog party. Come we'll on see you down next time. For the hot dog party. Mm-hmm. And we out. Mm-hmm. We're down Please, for the hot dog.